How to Change BPM in Audacity Following Some Simple Steps by Jeff D'Elia. On a very basic level, Audacity is a kind of an openly discharged and free digital lizard sound changing programming, which can moreover go about as a record application. Before we discuss how to change BPM in Audacity, it is important to know a bit about Audacity itself. Talking about the phases where it is available, Audacity is, perhaps, the best recording programming which is open on all significant working structures. For example, Apple OS, Windows, and unmistakable other working systems. Developed way back all through the spring fall of the year 1999, Audacity was the brainchild of two university graduates named Dominic Mazzoni and Roger Dannenberg. At the point when the perspective and structure of the item was developed, the architects decided to dispatch the item on a public stage in the hour of 2008. In addition, as indicated by the progressing reports, it has been developed that Audacity has transformed into the most noticeable and most downloaded propelled sound from FossHub, with records showing that the downloads have outperformed 75 million checks since the primary cash-related quarter of 2015. These bits of knowledge are from a lone site page, and if the total count is to be considered, Audacity has been downloaded by the customers for more than 200 million times since its release. In consideration of these achievements and its superb qualities, the Audacity Bunch won the respect for the best programming for media in the Community Choice Awards of 2009. What is the BPM of a song? BPM, or beats per minute, is a parameter which is used to measure the tempo and speed of a particular audio clip. Basically, tempo, or BPM, is the term which is used for the speed and pace of particular music. Thus, in musical terms, beats per minute are the standard unit for the measurement of tempo and pace of the music. To be precise, one beat is the standardized measuring unit for the overall length of a certain audio clip. It has been seen that various audio clips are produced with different types of tempo, and although they are part of the same song, yet, the overall speed and tempo of each part are different. Hence, it is very important to adjust and change the beats per minute of certain parts of the music, so as to make the overall music very smooth and perfect to hear. Most often, it has been seen that various parts of the same music have been written with reference to different time frames. Hence, in order to determine these perfect time frames, we will have to understand the beats per minute of that particular song. For instance, if the time frame of 4x4 states that a single quarter note is considered to be a full beat, then there will be four such beats in total. Hence, a music clip which has been composed with 4x4 tempo will tend to have a different speed and pace under certain frame of time, and it will show different speed and pace when the music will be played under a different time frame, as the tempo and face changes in both the cases. How to change BPM in Audacity? Whenever you are using Audacity to mix two or more sound clips, or are using a sound mixer, you might face the problem of excessive difference in the tempo or BPM of the audio clip. So, the question which arises over here is that, how can we change the tempo or beats per minute in Audacity? Well, we have prepared some step-by-step -step guide for you, by which you can easily change the BPM from Audacity. Step 1. Launching the app. The first step which you have to undertake is that you will need to launch the Audacity app on your desktop. Step 2. Opening the audio clip. Now, once you have launched the Audacity app, you can now initiate the opening of the audio clip. In order to open the audio clip, you will need to click on the tab showing File, and once the drop-down menu comes out, you will need to click on Open and select the appropriate audio clip. Step 3. Click on Effects. Once you have opened and selected the audio files for which you want to change the BPM, you will now need to click on the tab showing Effects. Once you have clicked on Effects, you will need to select the tab showing Change Tempo from the drop-down menu. Step 4. Adjust the tempo. Here, you can enter the percentage change of the tempo, or beats per minute, according to your requirement. However, one thing which you should be careful in this step is that if you are working on a multi-audio project, you should adjust the beats per minute in such a way that there should be no lag or difference in the tempo of both the audio clips. You can also select a particular time interval in the audio clip and change the tempo of that particular time frame. Step 5. Change the pitch. Apart from this, you can also alter the pitch as well as both pitch and tempo together in the Audacity app. 
you will just need to select the tab of Effect and then click on Change Pitch from the drop-down menu to adjust the pitch rate of the audio clip. Give us a chance to discuss a portion of the extraordinary features of Audacity. But most of the craftsmen and record producers will by and large use Audacity as an instrument for recording distinctive sound fastens. Yet, it has been seen that Audacity can, in like manner, be used for various after-age purposes, which fuse including various effects, blender tracks, altering, obscuring similarly as normalizing a couple or all bits of the sound catch. Besides this, Audacity has also found expansive use to mix and record different tracks, and has been starting late used in the national level course of the United Kingdom for their sound engineering unit. Other huge features of Audacity join multi-UI themes, which help the customer to pick an adjusted look and overall experience of the application. Besides this, there are different record options which help the music producer to investigate through various decisions to achieve the perfect sound. In any case, truly, the best segment of Audacity is its changing decision.